The Roanoke Enigma, Unveiling History's Veiled Mystery. Imagine setting sail across the vast ocean to a new world, only to vanish without a trace, leaving behind a single cryptic clue. Join us as we unravel the enigma of the lost colony of Roanoke, where history and mystery collide in an extraordinary tale of survival, disappearance, and the unexplained. Welcome back to Freaky Facts, History's Oddities, where we delve into the bizarre and uncharted territories of our past. Today, we're exploring one of history's most perplexing mysteries, the disappearance of the Roanoke Colony. Known as America's oldest unsolved puzzle, the fate of these colonists has baffled historians, archaeologists, and enthusiasts for centuries. So let's set sail into the unknown and uncover the strange and lesser-known facts about this eerie historical event. The Initial Settlement, Dawn of the Lost Colony In the year 1587, an ambitious voyage from England led by Governor John White embarked on a journey to the New World, marking a pivotal chapter in the annals of American history. Their destination? Roanoke Island, a land shrouded in the lush wilderness, poised to become the cradle of English civilization in America. Upon their arrival, 115 hopeful settlers, comprising men, women and children, set foot on the verdant shores of Roanoke, eager to lay the foundations of their new lives. They were the pioneers of what was envisioned to be the first permanent English colony in the New World, a beacon of England's burgeoning empire. But the New World was not just a land of promise. It was a realm of uncertainty and survival. The settlers faced immediate challenges from the unfamiliar climate to the scarcity of resources. Despite their efforts to forge a new existence, they soon realized they needed more to sustain their fledgling colony. In a decisive move, Governor John White made the arduous journey back to England, tasked with a crucial mission to procure additional supplies and reinforcements. Little did he know, his departure would set the stage for one of history's most baffling mysteries. As the sails vanished over the horizon, the settlers of Roanoke were left to carve their existence in the vast, untamed wilderness. Unbeknownst to them, their fate would become a legend, etching their story into the annals of mystery and sparking centuries of intrigue and speculation. The mysterious disappearance, Roanoke vanishes. Three years passed before Governor John White could return to Roanoke. The winds of fate and the tides of conflict had kept him from the shores of the New World. But in 1590, he finally returned, his heart heavy with anticipation of reuniting with his colony and family. What greeted him, however, was not the bustling community he left behind, but an eerie silence. Once teeming with life, the colony of Roanoke was now utterly deserted. Homes stood empty, fields lay fallow, and no human sound broke the stillness. No sign of a struggle or hasty departure was evident. The settlement didn't bear the scars of conflict or the chaos of a sudden evacuation. It was as if the earth had swallowed the inhabitants, leaving behind a ghostly echo of their presence. Amidst the haunting emptiness, one clue offered a whisper of the colonists' fate, the word Croatoan carved into a tree trunk, a name that referenced the local Croatoan tribe and the nearby Hatteras Island. But what did it signify? A plea for help, a sign of peaceful assimilation, or perhaps a clue to a more ominous fate? Governor White's attempts to uncover the colonists' fate were thwarted by nature's fury and the pressing need to return to England. The mystery he left behind would grow into a legend, perplexing scholars, inspiring storytellers, and captivating the curious for centuries to come. The Croatoan theory, a merge of cultures? In the tapestry of theories surrounding the lost colonists of Roanoke, one thread stands out weaving a narrative of survival and assimilation. This is the Croatoan theory, 
suggesting that the settlers, in their desperate quest for survival, sought refuge with the Croatoan tribe on Hatteras Island. Why do many lean towards this theory? The clue Croatoan, carved into the tree at the abandoned colony, is a beacon pointing towards the island where the Croatoan tribe resided. But it's not just the cryptic message that fuels this speculation. The tangible echoes of the colonists lingered among the tribe. Artifacts of European origin, discovered in the lands of the Croatoan people, hint at a blend of cultures. These items, not merely traded goods but personal effects, suggest a deeper integration of the Roanoke settlers into the tribe. Moreover, reports from later explorers and settlers speak of Croatoan tribe members with distinctly European features, lighter hair, eyes, a testament to the merging of two worlds. Could the descendants of Roanoke have lived on, their legacy not erased, but interwoven with the Croatoans. This theory offers a glimmer of hope amidst the mystery, a possibility that the lost colonists found a new path, not through conquest or colonization, but through integration and mutual support with the Croatoan tribe. The Dare Stones, messages from the past or elaborate hoax. Amidst the swirling theories and fragmented clues about Roanoke's fate, a curious discovery in the 1930s captivated the public's imagination. These were the Dare Stones, a series of inscribed stones that purportedly chronicled the harrowing fate of the lost colonists. The first of these stones was found by a California man in North Carolina, bearing a message supposedly from Eleanor Dare, the daughter of Governor John White. The stone told a grim tale of death and survival, a beacon from the past reaching out to the present. The stone's narrative spoke of the colonists' dire struggles, their encounters with local tribes, and the eventual demise of many, including White's granddaughter, Virginia Dare, the first English child born in the New World. But the discovery of the Dare stones is shrouded in controversy. While the first stones sparked intrigue and hope, subsequent stones raised suspicions. Critics argue that the stones, numbering over 40, were part of an elaborate hoax, citing inconsistencies in language and historical details. Despite exhaustive studies, the Dare Stones remain an enigmatic chapter in the Roanoke saga. Are they genuine artifacts offering a glimpse into the colonists' fate? Or are they mere fabrications, muddying the waters of history? New Archaeological Clues unearthing the path of the lost colonists. As the centuries march on, the mystery of Roanoke remains undimmed, compelling new generations of archaeologists to dig deeper into the earth and history. Recent excavations across North Carolina have unearthed tantalizing clues, suggesting a new chapter in the saga of the lost colonists. These modern-day treasure hunters have discovered a series of European artifacts dating back to the era of the Roanoke colony. But these items were not found on Roanoke Island. Instead, they lay scattered inland, hinting at a journey into the continent's heart. What story do these relics tell? The evidence suggests that the colonists may have fragmented into smaller groups, venturing away from Roanoke in a bid for survival. Some may have sought new homes among the indigenous tribes, their presence marked by these European traces left in the soil. Others might have pushed further inland, driven by hope or desperation, to carve out a new existence in North America's vast, untamed wilderness. These artifacts are like breadcrumbs, leading us on a trail through time, offering glimpses into the colonists' fate. Each discovery adds a piece to the puzzle, challenging old theories and sparking new ones. While the full story of the Roanoke colonists remains elusive, these archaeological clues offer a beacon of light, guiding us closer to understanding their journey and ultimate fate. Supernatural theories beyond the bounds of reality. In the shadowy realms of the Roanoke mystery, where history meets the unknown, a collection of supernatural theories have taken root, 
offering explanations that transcend the conventional and venture into the realm of the extraordinary. Some speculate that the colonists didn't vanish for earthly reasons, but were instead caught in the grip of otherworldly forces. Alien abductions, a favorite among the more outlandish theories, suggest extraterrestrial beings swept the settlers from their new home, leaving behind no trace but the enigmatic word Croatoan. Others propose that the colonists fell victim to a zombie plague, a sinister force transforming the settlers into the undead, erasing the colony from existence with a horror fit for a tale by Poe, rather than a page from history. While these theories provide a thrilling twist to the Roanoke saga, historians and scientists are met with skepticism, seeking answers grounded in evidence and plausible reality. Yet in the vast expanse of human imagination, these supernatural theories endure, adding a layer of eerie intrigue to the tale of Roanoke. They remind us of our fascination with the unknown and our desire to find answers, even in the most mysterious of circumstances. The lost colony of Roanoke remains an enduring mystery, a puzzle pieced together by fragmented clues and speculative theories whether they assimilated with native tribes, met a tragic end, or experienced something more supernatural, the fate of these early colonists continues to captivate and mystify us. What do you think happened to the Roanoke colonists? Share your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest explorations into history's oddities. Join us next time on Freaky Facts, History's Oddities, where we unearth the bizarre and the unexplained.